Windows 10 and Windows 11 completely dominate the desktop operating system market, so it's easy to forget that there are alternatives available for PC users. Even if you're a gamer, you'd be surprised at how support for gaming on non-Windows systems has grown. Most of them won't cost a penny, and I've listed five of the best free alternatives to Microsoft Windows here. Ubuntu Linux Ubuntu Linux is a well-known desktop Linux distribution, with its core focus on being a Windows alternative for most users. Ubuntu is user-friendly and hides much of the technical Linux stuff. Thanks to its popularity, Ubuntu provides a lot of developer support and a good level of support for Windows games and quite a few native Linux ports that work well on it. Canonical, the company that oversees Ubuntu, has a long history of supporting the operating system. One thing you don't have to worry about with this Linux distribution is that it will suddenly be abandoned overnight. While there are many exciting Linux distros out there, many of them have a real danger of fizzling out without warning. If you've never tried Linux because you've heard scary stories about terminal commands and compiling your own apps, Ubuntu is a great place to start. It's ready to be your full-time OS, but it's not trying to copy Windows. So you'll get a fresh experience that's its own thing. Chromium OS Chrome OS began life as a bare-bones operating system that acted as a web browser running all your apps and software in the cloud. Today, Chrome OS is still a lightweight OS featured on Chromebook devices, but it's not reliant on the cloud anymore, making it possible to use a Chrome OS laptop when you don't have internet access. It's come a long way from being a glorified way to run Google Chrome, although that means, ironically, that you can use Firefox on a Chromebook now. Chrome OS is, however, not openly and freely available to simply install on non-Chromebook hardware. Instead, you can install the open source OS that Chrome OS is built on, Chromium OS. Installing Chromium OS is a little involved and not for those who shy away from command line scripts, but you can build Chromium OS to your liking if you have the requisite skills. Alternatively, you can check out a pre-made version of Chromium, such as Cloud Ready Home Edition, which can turn a PC or Mac into a Chrome device with almost no fuss. Chromium is a great way to breathe life into an old computer that struggles with memory and CPU demands of modern operating systems. While Chromium lacks the same functionality as Windows, if all you need is basic productivity, entertainment, and web browsing, then it's an excellent choice. Mac OS. Yes, Mac OS, also known as OS X, is technically free, although you need to buy an Apple computer to use it. Well, that's not strictly true since it's possible to create a so-called Hackintosh where macOS is installed on a non-Apple computer. This does violate the macOS license term, of course, and you need a very particular computer for it to work. Also, since Apple is slowly phasing out Intel Macs, Hackintosh computers will become a thing of the past soon. So this isn't a door that will be open for much longer. That said, if you buy any Mac, even the cheapest MacBook Air or Mac Mini, macOS is included at no additional cost. And it's a great alternative to Windows, offering excellent stability and supporting Apple creative software such as Final Cut Pro. Like Linux, macOS is a Unix-like operating system, but they could not be more different to use, especially when it comes to the macOS desktop environment. If you're coming from Windows and considering buying a Mac, rest assured that virtually all non-gaming software has a macOS version. In general, macOS can do anything that Windows can do. Not to mention, you're much less likely to run into malware that can affect macOS. macOS also comes with some great Apple applications, such as GarageBand and Apple's Office applications. On other operating systems, you either have to purchase something like Microsoft Office or use an open source package, such as LibreOffice. Manjaro Linux. Like Ubuntu, Manjaro Linux was created with a strong focus on being a user-friendly replacement for Windows. The operating system is becoming more popular with users, especially those who aren't fond of Ubuntu's desktop interface. Manjaro offers several officially supported desktop environments. Specifically, it supports XFCE, KDE, and GNOME. Like Ubuntu, it's pretty simple to get many Windows applications and games running on Manjaro. You can use Wine, Play on Linux, Steam Proton, and more to ensure you can still access the software you want to. There's no 100% guarantee, of course, but these compatibility layers are far better today than only a few years ago. So if it's been a while since you've poked your nose into the world of Linux, you may be surprised at the current state of things. 
Manjaro's one-click configuration philosophy is also worth mentioning. Its package and update management system is exceptional, and hardware management and driver installation are similarly straightforward. These are two aspects that are notoriously user-unfriendly in Linux, but the folks developing Manjaro have tackled this problem with aplomb. FreeBSD FreeBSD is like Linux, but it's not a Linux OS. While Linux is only an OS kernel with various Linux distros adding the other parts you need for a full OS, FreeBSD is a complete OS release. This isn't an operating system that we'd recommend to anyone who wants an alternative to Windows as a desktop operating system. Still, if you're looking for a free operating system to use as a headless server or as the basis for your own custom operating system, FreeBSD has a lot to offer. If you're looking for a server solution, FreeBSD ships with a long list of software packages that give you advanced administration options. The most significant difference between Linux and FreeBSD is perhaps the licensing terms. The Linux open source license requires that all modifications and derivative code based on the Linux kernel also be licensed as open source. The open source operating system FreeBSD does not have this requirement. This is why, for example, Sony used FreeBSD as a basis for the PlayStation 4's operating system. You won't find the source code for that anywhere on the internet. It is, of course, possible to give FreeBSD a Windows-like desktop with some effort, but is hardly worth the bother. This is one for those who like to tinker and make their own solutions. If you're planning to release a hardware product and need an operating system for it, FreeBSD is a better choice in the long term than Windows. For more great alternative operating systems, check out the article linked in the description below. See you next time.